Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And is there any way we can turn this relatively old Samsung phone into an HT? It turns out that there is. And ever since I heard about the KV4P project over on the ham radio workbench, I've been thinking about getting one and back in February Bob LB5JJ uh, over at Radio Hyperactivity showed me his KV4P and I thought this is about the time to get one and um, get ready but things that doesn't always move too fast with me so um, I ended up thinking about it for a while and then um, as part of my deal with AliExpress, I figured out that I could buy one from the official AliExpress reseller. This is the version 2 of the KV4P. Uh, um, this board is designed by Smitty Halibut over at Ham Radio Workbench and uh, Halibut Electronics. Um, it's an improved board. It even has a PTT button here and as you can see RF goes here. So um, I decided to get the version 2 board, as I said. Um, the version 2 board retails for $45.50 over at uh, AliExpress. Um, you can also get the cheapest option, which is the version 1.7 as a kit. Then you have to assemble it yourself. And then it's $27.79 uh, over on AliExpress. So I'll link that down below, uh, affiliate links and um, there might even be some discount codes popping up on screen here. Um, so let's, first of all, let's see what you get in the box here. And I'm just gonna move the phone to the side here so we can see. First of all, you get a little piece of paper who's, that tells you how to update the firmware. And um, it also says that uh, it has been flashed with the firmware. So all you need to do is up to install the Android app. The Android app is called KV4P HT app. You can find that in the Google Play Store. And just so this is said, you need an Android phone for this. So I had to go into my drawer and find this old Samsung A71 here. Uh, furthermore, in the package, you get the KV4P itself and this nice 3D printed case. Uh, I'm not gonna take the board out. I managed to do that once because this is a really tight fit and I don't want to damage the 3D printed case. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, you get a USB-C to USB-C cable to connect this to your phone. A little rubber ducky and this is by all meanings of the word a rubber ducky. This is a flexible antenna. And then you get a piece of Velcro tape here and that's in order to Secure it here on the back of this and on the back of your phone. And by that you have a HT that looks like a Samsung phone. So let's see if we can get all this to work and do a little bit of a transmit receive test here. I believe the KV4P is a one watt radio. So this is not gonna replace your everyday radio or perhaps it will because it lives on the backside of your phone. And since this video is sponsored by AliExpress, if you haven't heard about AliExpress before, it's an online marketplace where you can get pretty much anything and buy anything. I, as usual, mean anything. Anything from small radios like this to clothes, to auto parts, to full-size campers, anything you can imagine in any kind of quality and any kind of price range. But let's go on and uh, connect this to the phone and see if we can make it work. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unlock the phone outside the screen so you can't see my code here. And I have to tell you, I've done this already. So uh, I've just tested that it works before we start filming. Plug this into here and I've set up the phone. So the phone uh, starts the KV4P app here, as you can see. Uh, this is a relatively simple user interface. It even supports APRS. I am not gonna do APRS on this. Um, and let's see if we can make it now. It says looking for radio. We're gonna also hook the antenna in. And it seems to be working. So we have the PTT button here. You can see that it's on simplex. If you want to add memory, you just press the plus button here. 
and then you can enter it here. So it's an easy radio to program. So um, let's go ahead and do a transmit receive test now. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the mic here. I'm gonna go outside the room with another radio, transmit into it, and you can hear the receive audio on the KV4P. LB0, Fox India, testing the receive audio of the KV4P uh, radio. One, two, three, four, the lacy dog jumps over the brown fence or something like that. And that's the, uh, that's the receive audio. Let's switch it around. Put the uh, VGC uh, VR76 on the table here and uh, test the receive audio. LB0 Fox India testing the transmit audio of the KV4PHC. 1234. The lazy dog jumps over the brown fence or something like that. And there we go. There's the receive and transmit audio. I haven't heard it myself, so I need to put a text overlay here if the audio is good or not. And probably you've seen that as well. Um, there's one more thing to do though. We're gonna just exit here. We're gonna unplug this thing in here. Unplug this one. And apparently that triggers some Google Assistant thingy. And we're gonna mount this on the back. And because of the camera and all that, first of all, we're gonna figure out if we're gonna have which end of the Velcro we're gonna have on the radio. I'm thinking we're gonna have the, the sticky, the, the sticky hard Velcro on the phone and the soft Velcro on the radio. Let's go ahead. We're gonna remove the double-sided tape here, or is it double-sided? Is it just single-sided when it's Velcro on the other side? Anyhow, we're gonna remove it. And we're gonna put it on here, like this. Make sure we've attached it properly. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And now comes the hard part, but because I guess you're pretty much only gonna get one try here. So we're gonna try to align it on the outside. So we get the PTT button here. We're gonna block the camera port, but that's not too important. Then we're gonna take the USB C cable here, plug that into both devices. And I'm gonna remove the phone from the screen while I tap my code. Should be good to go. Just gonna turn the volume down on this so we don't get any feedback. LB0 Fox India testing. LB0 Fox India testing. Yep, that seemed to work. And we got a pretty nice Android powered HT here. So, um, Let's talk a little bit about this project. Is this gonna replace your everyday carry, your everyday HT? No, it's probably not. But as many things in this beautiful hobby of ours, it's a fun thing to do. It's experimenting, it's creating something new. And the fact that you can get an HT module for your phone is actually pretty interesting. The fact that you can use a modern user interface in order to actually use and program this thing. Let me just enter my code again so you guys can't see that. And actually uh, flip through channels by just pressing. You can program it by a normal user interface. You can even send APRS text messages here um, to whoever you want to send them to. This is actually pretty, pretty awesome. Um, thanks to KV4 a, sorry, thanks to KV4P for actually thinking about this and designing this. I love the concept behind it. And uh, it's gonna be a fun device to play around with. It's not gonna be my everyday carry, but you betcha I'm gonna take this to a couple of club meetings and show how awesome this little thing is. Um, if I was an Android user, this might have been my everyday carry because now you can pretty much 
since it's Velcro, it's actually pretty, it's sits pretty good, so I'm not going to do that on camera. But you can actually take this off and, and put it back in. So, that's it for this KV4P kit. Um, I'm just going to leave it here actually while I conclude. Thumbs up for me. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Thumbs down button if you watched this far and didn't like it. Until next time, see you down the band. See you in my next video. 7-3, my friends.